They say you have to hit absolute rock bottom to know what you've lost and to know what you want to strive to be. I definitely have. Life's definitely thrown so many curveballs at me this year. I want to be the proof to show everyone that six months of dedication can put you right on track. I'm creating this Glow Up Diaries to not only lose weight, to become more fit, physically and mentally feel better and all this self-improvement I can do. I'm going to make weekly episodes so in six months time I can just look back at this series, see how far I've come. Just see that everything is possible if you believe in yourself. All of that time and effort isn't a waste. Hello guys. Hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kimberly Wilcox. Welcome back to Glow Up Diaries episode number five. Today is Monday morning the 24th of August and we're getting back on track. So I've already been doing the Glow Up Diaries for about four weeks now. If you guys saw my last episode, you would have seen where I was almost on the edge of giving up. I've taken a week off documenting this and I was 100% ready to give up. Mainly because I felt like, you know, I was letting you guys down. I had been doing this for four weeks and I wasn't making any progress on my journey whatsoever. I do feel like I'm getting better mentally and I'm trying to ease myself into it. But weight wise, I just keep gaining on more weight. Last episode, I told you that I'm going to stop weighing myself. However, when that happens, we end up putting on more weight. The scale does kind of put a lot of pressure on me, of course, but it is that one thing that helps me keep on going. As soon as I jump on the scale, maybe like two weeks later, and I've seen that I've gained, you know, a kilo or two, I binge. I hate myself and I do feel like I need to continue weighing myself so I weighed myself this morning and I'll insert the clip here now but we weighed in at 87.1 which is okay we've just got to accept where we are I've forgiven myself for the past year at this point and I am honestly ready to put in the bloody hard work to get the glow up that I really want and just kind of overall start living this happy life I'm sick of weight holding me back and I'm sick of you know always having pity on myself being like oh i just look too fat in that or i just don't feel good like kim if you fucking want this fucking put in the hard work and do it i'm gonna be doing a weekly vlog of me getting back on track showing you basically everything that i'm eating i'm also doing the treadmill every single day that will be a separate video that will come up in the next couple weeks i'm guessing but i am honestly trying to put my all in this journey i am trying to exercise every day and just eat healthy but let's go have my morning coffee because I need something that's going to get me through the day. We currently have like window cleaners at a house. So I'm not even sure how much I can actually film. Okay, we made myself a coffee. Good old caramel latte with our milk. We weighed in at 87.1. Hi guys, it is now 1.30. I haven't had anything since that coffee this morning and I guess I'm kind of doing intermittent fasting today. I am really hungry. I want to make myself some lunch or brunch as you would call it. But I do think like incorporating a little bit of intermittent fasting will help me stop snacking. Well, we all know that I'm a big snacker. I used to have this really good habit of myself and I feel like that's what helped me lose all my weight last time where I would stop eating after 8 p.m. We're going to start incorporating that right now because I do find that I am starting to have ice cream or just random snacks. And I feel like that's where I'm actually putting a lot of the weight on is binging late at night. And I need to start just getting back into the routine and just stop eating past 8 p.m. I was so good at this in my weight loss journey last year that I would look at my phone and see that it was past like 8.05 or something. And I'm like, no, nah, you can't eat it. You lost your window. You're not gonna eat till the morning. So basically if I want some dessert, I'm gonna have to have it at like 7.45. But I don't even know what I'm going to make for lunch. What do I even have in the house? I think I'm just going to make bacon and eggs. Is that really boring? But I'm just so hungry and I know that we'll probably have that. I forgot to buy bread. I think I'm probably going to have to have like some sort of white bread. We love that. We love being semi gluten intolerant too. Anyway, I'm so hungry. I'm going to make something to eat. I feel like I can't talk anymore. So <laughs> let's go make something to eat. This mixed grain, I was like, you know what? This is probably better than this digestive white bread. Bread is just as bad as for you. So basically this had 760 kilojoules and this one has 969 kilojoules. So this is like 50 calories less. This has got 37 carbs and 2.0 grams of sugar. This has actually only got 28 carbs 
and it's got 2.5 grams of sugar. Anyway, so don't hate me because I'm suddenly having white bread. Like, I'm still choosing the better option, you know? I just need to go and get my gluten-free bread. <laughs> so we're gonna have a bacon and egg toasty with a slice of cheese because, like I said, I'm allowing myself to still have this. I didn't have breakfast and this is my brunch. So we're gonna put these in the I was almost gonna say microwave, like what the hell, Kimberly? You can tell I'm really hungry. We're gonna put this in the toaster and cook my eggs and bacon right now. Fried egg and some bacon. I'm gonna put a bit of this peri peri seasoning on the egg. Let's see if I can do it on camera. Oh my god, what's the pressure? I did it! This is taking me like a minute so far. Oh. This is like the healthiest tomato sauce you can get at the supermarket, I feel like, because the rest are like really full of carbs and this is like two carbs. So I put about that much tomato sauce. Thank you. I'll pop some cheese and then we're good to go. That's my boring kind of brunch, but I'm keen for it. I'm just like excited to have some food. That's so fast. So I've been trying to incorporate those five things and my room's been like clean. Like honestly, it's been going good on my room. The exercise, not so much. Drinking water, not bad, not bad. But what else was the other one? Oh, the 15 minutes of stretching. We got a yoga mat, so we're getting started. We're slowly getting there. Today, I got my period, which we love. We honestly love. So I need to take some like Napajesiacs or something because my pain starting to come on, which I'm not excited about. You know what's so funny, right? Obviously, I know when my periods do, right? Normally, I get really bad pains like a week before, but I haven't like, but yesterday and today, I only got like little pains and they weren't too bad. Like they were tolerable. They were definitely there. Like I could feel them. I think we're doing better. Like, I honestly think this period so far hasn't been too bad, you know? Like, the pain's getting a little bit more tolerable or it's just going away. But I seriously need to book this ultrasound in and get myself checked. Anyway, I am just chilling out for maybe the next hour. I want to watch a movie. Mainly because, like, like I said, I'm feeling a bit yuck. Like, I'm feeling okay. I'm definitely going for an exercise at three. I've already booked it in my schedule, you know? I'm just going to have a few hours off, let myself be in pain or chill out and just get under the covers. Like, I hate doing this. I really want to watch a movie and chill out. All right, let's go. Let's see how I survived the first workout. That's my timer. <laughs> All right. Guys, I felt like that was like the longest half an hour ever. I need water. Just having like an afternoon mm. snack at five o'clock. It's yogurt and strawberries and berry with a little bit of cereal. Dinner probably won't be ready till like 6.30. And I was like, girl, I'm hungry. I'm that type of girl where I wait till I'm like really hungry and I want food like within five minutes. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Today I'm off for work, so I'm going to be having something little now. Maybe I'll just make a smoothie for brekkie and then I'll just take yogurt and fruit for lunch, I'm thinking. So I'll be home around four and then I'll just quickly have like a bigger snack, I'm guessing. But today I don't know if it's pain from having bread yesterday or it's period pain, but I'm still feeling really good. I'm feeling really good with my mindset, so I'm hoping it will just continue getting better and better. Um, but that's pretty much all I've got to update you guys. I'll see you guys in a sec anyway because I'm going to make myself a smoothie. I'm just making the body bloom now in a travel mug. And I just made myself a smoothie, the same one as last night. Hello everyone, happy Thursday. I'm all ready, it's nine o'clock and I'm getting my walk in early on in the day so I have no excuses. So I'll chat to you guys after my walk. Good morning guys, happy Saturday and I'm so sorry I haven't really filmed that much this week. Today I'm just gonna do a follow through on what I'm basically eating, how I'm feeling and a little bit of like a midweek update. I am still feeling really good and I do feel like this is the foundation week. Like I haven't been 100% good but I still feel like I am actually getting somewhere. My mindset's changing a bit and I definitely feel so much better than I did last week. So let's hope this doesn't wear 
square off like I've had a little bit of a wake-up call where I needed to realize that like I am holding myself back you know what I mean I just edited a bit of this footage from Monday and it's so true like I can't sit here and wait for myself to hold me back like I've just got to push myself I'm not always going to be motivated so I just need to keep on pushing and just keep staying focused on eating healthy and just kind of continue eating the right things and exercising so it's about 10 30 now i want to go make myself some brekkie i'm quite hungry i don't mean to but i haven't really been having breakfast really early this week which i guess is good in one way because i did say that i want to start incorporating intermittent fasting a little bit i have been yeah pretty good there's only been one day where i've eaten past 8 p.m and that was last night it was just a girly night and i just ate total crap but I just think I need to just come back from a day of eating bad and just get back on track like I need to not just wait till Monday and then just have a whole weekend where I binge because that's what I would normally do so today is a new day today is a new day to start eating healthy and start getting focused on this healthy lifestyle I want to create all right guys it's now 12 o'clock so I'm gonna have my first meal of the day so I think I'm gonna start off with like a smoothie because I actually haven't had one for you know a couple days now I forgot where I put it all so we're gonna have a smoothie I guess for breakfast and I know like within an hour I'll be hungry again <laughs> then I'll have like my next meal of the day So I just made myself a protein smoothie. I used the Tropica Salted Caramel Protein, the Ultra Green Cleanse, some tea seeds, coconut milk and water. And I'm just gonna have this as, I guess, my first meal. I've been trying to incorporate more like green products in my diet to help, you know, my body flow a bit better. I don't know, it hasn't made too much of a difference, but I, over time it will. It is now almost 3.30. I'm gonna make myself a toasty because you girls get me a little bit peckish and then I pretty much will be done till dinner now I guess that smoothie did a really good job of filling me up like I honestly thought I would be hungry an hour after but I'm not hungry and it's now 2 30 so it's good just gonna make a cheese and ham toasty so I just use some shredded ham so I just pop that like that so two slices and I'm gonna cut this tomato up And this is my sandwich that will be i guess my lunch and i'm gonna eat that right now because i'm that hungry <laughs> so i actually have to declutter my whole spare room today so i'm not really gonna be on here that much so i'm just gonna spend the afternoon decluttering and then i'll come and chat to you guys this afternoon and we can have a good old catch up and probably eat my dinner but i'll chat to you guys then hi guys it's saturday night i well i'm home by myself my parents actually went out and my roommate was out partying with her friends so kind of didn't really have like I don't want to do anything do you know what I mean I just can't be fucked do anything like I couldn't even be bothered to go out to dinner with my parents and my grandma like I just couldn't be bothered so I just had dinner so I made myself like some crumb fish and some wedges in the air fryer I know very naughty but it's Saturday night I don't regret it because I enjoyed it so much and I felt so so good having it but I just wish that I liked salads or had a better choice of food in the house so that's why I kind of just had that so I actually just shared a post to Instagram and this post really hit home and I don't know if it's people that have also struggled with weight loss their whole life. I've pretty much my whole life felt like I've been an outsider in my skin. I've never ever felt happy with the way that my body is made and it's definitely something that I'm going to overcome which is why I've created the Glow Up Diary series. It, it really puts... A lot of pressure on someone like me who isn't naturally skinny you know I've always wished <laughs> that I was skinny and I hate the fact that I'm gonna have to work at my weight my whole life like it's not just gonna be something like I can just do a quick fix and I lose weight I know that I'm always gonna have to watch what I eat I'm never gonna be that naturally skinny girl it's just not who I am and I get jealous of those people the post that I reshared I'll read it out to you guys it says if we all ate the same meals and did the same workouts we would still have 
have different bodies and that's how it is. It's the fact that people can sit there and say to you, this is how you lose weight. You're overweight because you're eating bad. It's not, it's not the case at all. I'm overweight because I've had really bad habits for pretty much my whole life. I'm overweight because of my genes. I understand that. And for people to make comments about people's weight, I think it's very wrong. <laughs> and it does hit home to me so much because I do feel like I've struggled with weight my whole life. And I'm never going to be one of those people that is going to be naturally skinny. I'm always going to have to work out my weight my whole life. And just reading that post to me, I guess it kind of triggered a little bit and it kind of made me feel like people need to understand that everyone isn't the same. I hope one day, I really hope one day that I meet someone who loves me for who I am and doesn't really care about the body that I have. And I know one day I will and I hate that I'm crying now. <laughs> this is how much of an emotional person I am. But you know, I am definitely making this week a foundation week where I'm trying to see the bigger picture here. I'm trying to incorporate more self-love into my body but when I think of the way that I look I'm the furthest from proud and that's why I've kind of realized that if I am not making the effort to eat healthy and do exercise I am gonna feel this shitty feeling my whole life because I know personally I am not happy at 87 kilos. I am not the person I want to be, I can sit there and look at my body and think, you know what? There are so many good parts about my body, but I can also sit here and say, you know what, Kimberly, there are so many other parts that I hate. And it's not to say that I could lose all the weight and all my insecurities would go away because that's not the case at all. And I know that I'll have to deal with this my whole life. But sometimes I just wish that losing weight was a lot easier. Right now, what I'm going through has been the hardest weight loss journey in my whole life. Last year and the year before, I lost four 14 kilos but I've been trying since March at least 70% of the time to lose weight and I've just gained more I lose weight I put it on I lose weight I put it on and I have said all along that it's just who I am but I need to sit back and think why don't you just keep giving this a shot and that's what I'm gonna do mainly because I really want to be proud of myself. I want to be proud to think, wow, Kimberly, you actually lost 12 kilos and your body's still beautiful. So I don't know if this is a little bit of a ramble for you guys, but that's just how I'm feeling. Would love to open up more about this. I've definitely got a lot to say on these topics. I, I need to start not being so hard on myself. I've definitely realized that. This has just been a weird week. <laughs> it's been such a weird week and I'm really excited for Monday morning because like I said, Monday I'm giving it my all. She's gonna be there and I think that I'm making excuses and that's why I'm not losing weight this time. So we're gonna do it hardcore and I am gonna focus so hard, but I'm gonna call it a night and I'll chat to you guys early in the morning. Bye. Good morning guys. Happy Sunday. Today is just basically a chilled out day. I am about to get ready to have brekkie but I kind of just want to weigh myself. I know tomorrow's my weigh-in day for this vlog but I just want to see how I'm tracking. This week I would say I've been like you know 80% good and 20% still really bad and when I eat bad I still am having you know wedges. But this is the thing. This is me getting back on track slowly and like next week well tomorrow I'm gonna be like hardcore focused. I just needed this week to kind of, you know, realize that I don't want to give up. So I'm just going to quickly weigh myself just to see how I'm tracking. Just having a little bit of yogurt, banana and just right. And I put macadamia nuts in there. Okay, not bad. So I weigh 86.7. I'm going to try really, really hard to eat healthy today. So hopefully tomorrow's weigh-in will be like good. I'm still unsure like I really want to bring this vlog to tomorrow morning so I can show you my actual weigh in and like show like basically the week from week but I know I normally upload them on Sundays so either I just upload it like a day late and I get to show you guys but I'll see how I feel but I'm definitely going to start a new vlog for you guys tomorrow anyway and I'm going to do just what I eat in a day because I do feel like these weekly vlogs I start off good and then I kind of just forget so yeah I want to kind of get back on track 
track fully next week and just like hardcore focus like I mean I'm not making any excuses for myself I have to go for some form of exercise every single day like I want to get back into hit I want to get back into like intense workouts and I just want to stop feeling so sorry for myself and actually just putting the hard work to get the goals of my dreams basically so let's go get ready and then I'll eat some yummy brekkie I don't know what I'm gonna have maybe just some bacon and eggs some basic you know oh, it's so cold in my house and I'm wearing this like teddy jumper but I'm all ready for the day so let's go make brekkie just having some body bloom before brekkie All right, I am off for my morning walk. I'm actually going on like a walking track about five minutes away. So this walk will take me a bit over an hour to complete and I'm gonna bring my mum along. So that will be my Sunday adventure at least. Something a little bit more filling for lunch, but we didn't really have a hell lot and I didn't really want to have bread again. So I'm gonna have this because I'm actually going to my grandparents around four o'clock. And then I guess I'll just like have a piece of fruit in between and then have something small at their house. Hi guys, hello. I didn't weigh myself this morning. It's Monday morning and I didn't film anything last night. Now I'm gonna be fucking real with you guys right now and the past 24 hours has been one of the biggest struggles for me. Probably like I would say in my top 10 days this year and I hate that I'm already crying. Last night I really struggled. I actually made a video on this topic. I'm not 100% sure if I will but it was a topic Topic all about if I was skinnier life would be easier and that's how I feel I have really felt shit about myself the past 24 hours I've kind of felt embarrassed with the way that I'm looking and I am just done with weight getting me down I know that this is just a time in my life that I'm gonna feel this way and you know in a week's time I might feel completely different but I honestly just don't know how I ended up at this point. I don't know how my body's not losing any weight really. I'm gonna be honest last week was a pretty decent week. I lost like almost 500 grams. I don't know I didn't weigh myself. I was too upset this morning that I didn't. Last night I actually had three KFC nuggets after I had had dinner, like I had rice at my grandparents and then I had three KFC nuggets when I got home and I had a handful of chips. So I was already like, why am I eating at 8.30? Why am I eating KFC? Why am I setting myself up for failure? I was already in that mindset. I've realized that it's how life is. You don't always get blessed with the better body. It's how I am. I'm not always gonna fit in the way that I look. Being the tallest and always the chubbiest kid in my class, I feel like. And I just need to understand that that's not me. Being this weight, I guess it shaped me into who I am. As much as I really hate that I'm not naturally skinny, because I do still feel like if I was skinny, life would be a lot easier. I know that I'm gonna have to do with weight struggle my whole life, and it's just what I've accepted, but I have just taken this day out to just really, really let myself be upset. <laughs> like, the fact that I'm sitting here making a video and I'm crying about the fact that I'm fat, it's so dumb, because I know out there there would be people that would kill to have my body, and there's bodies out there that I would kill to have, and that's just how it is in life. I just feel like I'm going on tangent now. But it's just the fact that I come back to, I just forget to eat healthy. I just need to continue to remind myself that I don't need to keep eating bad. And I look at people that are skinny and they have such a healthier relationship with food. And for me, I guess I've always struggled with that binge eating where I will just eat and eat. If I'm enjoying something and I'm full, I'm going to continue eating it. I don't care about the calories. And... I honestly can't wait to have a better relationship with food. It's something that's going to take a lot of work and I definitely sit back and think this week has taught me so much and I'm already becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. But the fact that being my size, I get comments all the time about what I'm wearing. It's not to say, look, I know I have friends that are skinnier and people always say to them, oh, you're so skinny. And I guess skinny can be an insult too. It can be the fact that you're too skinny or you're skinny, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I am just 
rambling on right now on a Monday afternoon because I'm actually going to continue sticking to this. I want to see myself at the end of the year being 10 kilos lighter. I want to fucking prove to everyone that I can do it. Like I know when I was 75 kilos, I had a lot more confidence and that's who I loved. Like I feel like I am myself when I'm 75 kilos. I don't feel like I'm myself at 87 kilos. I don't get to wear the clothes that I want to wear. Well, I just don't get to have the confidence. With weight loss, I think a lot of it comes with confidence. And that's all I'm going to sit in talk about. This is going to be episode 5 of the Glow Up Diaries. I know I've put on a little bit of a ramble. But I hope you guys enjoy this. I am going to show you guys that 6 months of dedication can change your life around. We're just going to be on the highest point of the roller coaster, And from right here on, I'm going to keep pushing my myself and pushing myself and even when I go down I'm gonna push myself back up I'm just gonna keep doing it and I'm just gonna be that person where I'm happier and I'm just gonna be that person where I'm gonna motivate myself I can do it and I want to show you guys that you can do it too because I'm at the bottom like I've never been this depressed about my weight my whole life it's a bit of acceptance right now but we're getting better so if you guys did enjoy this vlog please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you already haven't sorry this vlog was a little bit all over the place guys it was my foundation week that's what I'm gonna call it and my next vlog is gonna be all of the groundwork and just me actually starting to put into healthy habits and lose weight because I'm sick of holding myself back being this weight. So I'm going to give it my all, okay guys? And I want to still leave this vlog really positive because that is me. I want to be the most positive person I can be. And I am, okay? I am. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. I promise you next vlog is going to be the best one you've ever seen. I'm going to make it so good. I've already got some really good ideas for it and I'm just so excited to you get back on the weight loss journey i hope you guys have a lovely day thank you so much for the support so many people messaged me saying that they missed the glow up diaries and i am coming back today with it but i still feel like it's not 100 percent. i just want to say thanks for all the support guys i'll see you guys in my next one take care wherever you are i love you loads and loads and bye guys <laughs>